Hey guys, it's Spencer from Soccer Productions, and uh, last weekend we went to Grouse Creek, and uh, Grouse Creek is a small town uh, in the middle of nowhere. It's uh, kind of by the border of Idaho. So we got there on Thursday, and like Thursday night, so we just slept as soon as we got there, but Friday, me and uh, my cousin, we went uh, we wanted to go exploring. We went, wanted to go to that place called uh, Uncle Rooney's Cabin. Here is Uncle Rooney's Cabin. That log that's blocking the door there, that's brand new. It wasn't there last year. So it must have collapsed like during the winter. So it's just a small like log cabin and there's a little bit of holes and rubble and everything on the ground. Uh, after Uncle Rooney's cabin, we decided to check out this old timey horse stable. Again, it's another small log cabin for horses, and um, just you can see the individual like stables for the horses. Now, this like rope and tire wasn't there last year, and also the building kept making weird noises like this. We think it has something to do with the metal. We're not sure. Anyways. After that, we wanted to go to uh, this old red house. That's pretty much what we called it, is the red house. It used to belong to our great-grandmother, and then something happened to it, and they moved away. And so when you have to get to most places, you have to, like, go through this, like, shrubs and, like, bushes and stuff, and yeah. So here's the house. It's all... <clears throat> old and broken down and uh, there's like the staircase we're gonna go up there later but here is this room like just to show you that there's just like old wood and rocks and cow pies and just a whole bunch of rubble and old things uh, this is from the upstairs um, I'm standing like right next to the stairs and Chandler joined us uh, during this so like, we have to be careful when we step because everything's so old and the stairs were super sketchy to go down because a lot of them were like snapped in half so if you stepped on the wrong half the stair would like flip. So we have to be careful just everywhere in this house and look for nails and stuff. And so when everyone else went downstairs, I, uh, I explored a little bit more trying to show you guys what, what, what's going on here and uh, yeah, as you can see, there's like holes in the floor, which also means there's holes in the um, ceiling. Um, like there's an old engine. There's just a lot of rubble on this on the um, in the building. Uh, in the next room, I found this dead cat. It spooked me real bad. Uh, here's this room again. Uh, just to show you uh, one of the rooms next to it, uh, to, uh, just to give you like a little layout, one of the rooms next to it, this room is like the roof caved in a few years ago, so it's pretty sketchy. This room too, I think this one was a lot more recent than the other one, but so happened a few years ago, and so like, it just shows that like, this building could collapse at any minute, pretty much. So we're always scared to be in there. Uh, we decided to go through all that broken rubble and uh, go to the cellar, which is like where they kept their food and stuff and whatnot. You will understand what a cellar is, I hope. Uh, this is what Chan had to say about the stairs going in there. This is sketched to its finest. Holy crap. I'm scared. Indeed, it is super sketch. Uh, so this is just a look around 
as you can see the roof has been beaten in. So after that we went, we thought, we went to this cabin and it was gated off, super sad. Uh, but it looks like there's just like a bunch of old furniture in here, which I wonder why. And it's like in good condition too. So walking through all these like bushes, you're gonna get like pokies in your sock and they really hurt. So after that day of adventuring, they decided to go in the pool. I didn't have a uh, swimsuit, so. I didn't join them, uh, so yeah. It was a nice calm day after that. Um, while they were swimming, I went and uh, shot some things, shot them up. Bang, P pew, it's a BB gun, it's not a real gun, because I'm 14. So then uh, we went to the store, and this is like the only store, and it's this small. If they want anything else, they have to drive like two hours to the nearest place. After that, we went to uh, a cemetery, or the cemetery, and it's a lot bigger than I expected. I guess if you're a town that was cultivated in the 1850s, you're gonna have a lot of dead people. Yeah, but it's, there's like three sections, and if you can see like a bunch of Kimbers and Tanners, it's because I'm related to them. I'm related to them, 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 and a lot of other people. Ridiculous. So, yeah, this is, I just wanted to make this to show you guys why Grass Creek is so cool. Uh, while we were there, um, I started coming up with some horror film ideas and all that. Uh, uh, Grouse Creek is just a super chill place. Uh, it's really fun. Can be scary sometimes. It's not as scary to me as it was when I was a little kid, mainly because when I'm a little kid I had wild imagination.